good morning you guys it's karen and i'm here to do the other part of my amazon favorites um so i have got what have i got four eight ten twelve items or so to show you um only two of them are beauty i'll start with those um one of them i have talked about before it's the wet and wild I talked about this in a recent i don't know if it was favorites or a haul the wet and wild breakup proof waterproof retractable gel eyeliner this is absolutely brilliant um i've been using it ever since i got it and it is by far the best pencil that i've used in my waterline i use it in my upper waterline and it is as good as if not better than in fact i think it is better than the milk makeup one which is brilliant because this is obviously a lot less expensive and available on amazon so that's fantastic and then you've heard me talk about my nyx brow pencil um i love the nyx brow pencil we'll always have one of these in stock and you know use this when i can't be bothered doing using a brow pomade or anything at the minute i'm still loving using that um made by Mitchell set but for quickness I use this this one is in taupe um the reason I buy this from Amazon is it's cheaper it's cheaper on Amazon so that's great I do have one beauty thing I completely forgot this is my heatless curl set that I got off Amazon and this is what I normally use I normally use my headband it's so funny because it, it became so popular over the last few years and there was all sorts of versions wasn't there there was use your dressing gown belt there was using socks there was all sorts of things and i have been doing this for years i'll put a video in that's probably 10 years old maybe i don't know if it's quite that old maybe seven or eight years old anyway i've been doing this for a long time and i've done two videos one on how to do loose curls and one on how to do tight curls and this is all i use my headband um but i wanted to try the the headband curls kit and i do actually really like it so you get this which is basically like a dressing gown um a dressing gown robe belt and then there's two little ties at the bottom it all looks very complicated but it is actually fairly simple you then get i'm not sure why you get two lots of ties you get two scrunchies and then you also get is there two of those yeah there's two of these and i'm not sure is it, i don't know whether it's just preference you get a misting bottle to put the water in and then you get this which is to clamp this on when you start you kind of clamp this onto your hair i always do it at the side like that and then you get your hair and just wrap it round, and then you you can either tie it immediately or you can use these to tie it at the bottom um and the difference with this is it actually gives you a looser effect because i do often find when i'm using my headband because it'll wrap it round and it'll be like that it's too thin you know this is a bit thicker and i get more sort of natural looking waves so i enjoyed that i've only used it i used it once or twice twice maximum so i need to try it again but i thought that was a really good little set and it's i thought it was really good value as well for all of that okay so on to i was going to say on to some health stuff there's quite a lot of health stuff here thinking about it anyway um random but this is scotch tape and i've seen a, a few people on like instagram and whatnot using this um i started off using the mouth tape my reason for doing it was i couldn't sleep very well i suffer from allergies um apparently i do sometimes snore says kev i and i actually i can feel it sometimes to be fair now i do use a nose strip but i thought I'd, I'd be interested to see what happens if i do this mouth taping and i've read a couple of books on sort of breathing techniques and whatnot and you know it's all about how you're supposed to breathe through your nose and the, the many many health benefits but the mouth tape that I was using is pretty expensive. And I realised actually you only really need a bit of tape from here to here. And and that stops you breathing in through your mouth through the night. So I bought this and I've been using this. And I have to say the results are really, really good. Um, I feel like I sleep better. I'm still having insomnia problems and whatnot. But I definitely sleep better when I use this. But I've noticed two other things that are really interesting. One is that my lips aren't as dry as they usually are at this time of year. And I, that makes sense, you know, because breathing in through your mouth does make your lips dry. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. But the other thing I noticed is we went on a family walk yesterday and it's it's a hill walk that we go on. And we can only really go on it, you know, it depends how I'm feeling, basically, because I need to have the the energy and the joint health to, to get up the hill. Um, and I'm always out of breath. I have I'm listed as having asthma. I don't feel like I necessarily do anymore, but I'm always out of breath, like, you know, getting up the hill. I wasn't yesterday at all. And I was making sure that I was breathing through my nose as I was going up the hill and I wasn't out of breath. Anyway, all this to tell you about little old scotch tape. <laughs> I really like it. And it's great because I can lift it up to drink 
through the night and then put it back down again and it still stays it still keeps your mouth shut you know it takes a bit of getting used to Kev's trying to do it at the minute sorry I'm rattling around there I've just got my electrolytes here I should go and grab the electrolytes because that's really tasty and I've heard that some can taste horrible I don't remember ever drinking any before other health things oh yeah supplements these three supplements are great for different reasons let me show you this one first this is biotin and this is by a brand called insight um, and this is 1000 to oh no 12,000 iugs and biotin i started taking this when i felt like my hair was thinning and constantly falling out and whatnot and i've really noticed a difference since taking this i love that these are tiny little tablets let me show you what size they are that's how big it is let me show you against my fingernail Oh, no, you're not going to be able to see, are you? Oh, yeah. There we go. Tiny little tablets. And I love it when I get a tiny tablet like that because it means I can swallow. I have really bad swallowing problems and I can't swallow tablets unless it's like that tiny. I can't just swallow a paracetamol if I'd have to eat something and put it in. I have real problems swallowing. And actually, the last three or four weeks have had, I've gone back to having problems with swallowing just my meals and things that I drink. And it's not it's definitely not anything physical it's psychological I can actually feel it because I was laughing last week because I said to Kev I'm really struggling to eat my dinner but I managed my Kit Kat fine that I had earlier you know I didn't have any swallowing problems with that but um yeah this biotin I didn't really research this or anything like that but it has really helped my hair I definitely feel a difference since using it and then these two these are by Nutrition Geeks I've got hardly any left in here this is turmeric, basically turmeric. And it, this is curcumin, ginger and black pepper. So it's great because it's got the black pepper in, which enhances the turmeric. Um, they are still very yellowing, so I need to grab a wipe in a minute. But that's how big they are, about the same size as those other ones, except that this one is thicker. This I sometimes struggle to take, even though it is small, because it starts dissolving on your tongue, you know, so you have to kind of get it the first time, otherwise it starts breaking apart and quite sensitive. Um, but I love that they're that small. I think that's really good. Um, and then the other one, I haven't started taking these yet. This is vitamin D3 and K2. And I think when I looked at them, I was going to be able to take them. I've got, I'm currently, I've done my pill pots. I've got pill pots that I do for two weeks um, and I've done them. When I start them again, I'll use this one, but that's how big they are. I think I'm going to be able to take those. They're not too thick. Um, but vitamin D3 and K2, I think that's genius because I actually take a vitamin D in the morning. I should probably take it at night because it can help with sleep. Anyway, um, I take a vitamin D in the morning and then um, later on in the day, I take a K2. Um, and so to have them both in one tablet and it's tiny, fantastic. I can then just, just put one in. I think it's a, a one dose. One tablet daily with a glass of water. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I love those. I went and grabbed those electrolytes because oh, I need to buy some more actually because I've not got many left. These are in berry flavour. They have got a couple left at the bottom there and they're called SIS, Science in Sport Hydro with added B vitamins, which is great because B vitamins, you can basically have as much as you want because it's water soluble and it will just come out. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the taste of these. Like I said, these ones are berry. And I will link them. And it's it's absolutely delicious. I'm not good at drinking water, plain water. I do drink it, but I normally drink flavoured water. But I'm more than happy to drink one with that in. Um, I'm taking electrolytes because if you caught my video over on Life as a Zebra on McDonald's for migraine, you'll understand why the electrolytes. But um, yeah, it's one way to see if, if it helps with the migraine. So I'm trying to do that regularly and see see if that can ward off a migraine. Um, okay, what next? Anything else health? This, <laughs> this is interesting. It looks like a toilet plunger, doesn't it? And it's, it's such a simple idea and I love it. Did I bring the box through? I should have brought the box through. Hold on a second. Okay, this is what it came in this pouch because you've got different sizes for it. If you are afraid of choking yourself or anybody in your household choking, you need to get yourself one of these because it's just peace of mind. And I know some people will be like, that's ridiculous. And part of me feels like it's ridiculous. But I've had a fear of choking. I just mentioned about the swallowing problems and I've had a fear of choking, which I think is why I have the swallowing problems. And there is there is something that happened 
that I will talk about one day as a child, but um, I, I've got this problem and, I, and I'm scared of choking. And I think that's why sometimes I can't swallow properly because I think that I'm going to choke on my swallow. I remember being really, really scared when I lived alone. And I think about it sometimes, the fact that I'm here a lot on my own. You know, Kev, is, Kev leaves the house at half past six and he doesn't get home until half past seven. Sometimes he then goes out again to the driving range, you know. So I'm here a lot on my own. But I also worry about it for him. And I've had some choking incidents myself. I've had two myself. One when I was, I would have been like 12 or 13. And I was eating an aniseed ball. Do you remember aniseed balls? I was eating an aniseed ball and I remember I put it in my mouth and then I stood up. And so as I stood up, it obviously went down. Um, I wasn't intending to swallow it. You know, I just I stood up and, and down it went and then I started choking. And my dad was in his bedroom upstairs and I was upstairs in my bedroom. I went through it. I remember I opened the door and I was like, <gasps> you know, <laughs> anyway, he started thumping me on the back. That didn't work. And then he ended up, I must have been 12 or 13. I don't know how he managed this. I suppose he was a big guy, but he turned me upside down and he had me by my legs and was like hitting me on the back like this. And I was swinging <laughs> and it eventually came up. Um, and when it came up, it was tiny. And I was like, God, that's how much, you know, it's been trying to come up. It was this tiny little white thing. Whereas when it went down, it was still quite, quite sizable. And my lungs were so sore. Um, and he gave me some milk to drink and I was so upset, you know, because it was terrifying. And I remember my sister, <laughs> she was laughing her head off and um, she was laughing because she said that all she heard upstairs was stomp, stomp. <laughs> she said she heard me screaming, but I don't think I screamed, you know, because I couldn't really get much air in. I suppose there was some kind of noise that she heard and she just thought it was really funny. Anyway, so I had that incident. I then had another incident when I was working in the NHS, actually. And this was, it was another sweet. I tell you, she needs sucky sweets. They're just a nightmare. Um, and I don't know what happened. It literally, I just suddenly couldn't get any breath in. And this was one of those proper ones where, like, because if you can go, if you can get a tiny bit of breath in, that's great. You're probably going to be all right. You just need to cough it up. But this was one where it completely had blocked. And I was like, now I was in an office, I was in my office and I had my assistant in there with me and amazingly she knew what to do and I stood up and was like, like that and she came behind me and did the Heimlich, Heimlich manoeuvre. It shut out and that was that, I was back to normal and it was just so instant and it was like nothing had happened. Like obviously I didn't need any medical attention at all, I didn't feel any different, not like when I did when my dad was doing it, my back was all bruised after my dad did it. Um, but. You know, this was just so quick, but I was like, it was just so terrifying. It, I, I was thinking, what if that happened at home? Okay, I'm going to need to put chapters in, aren't I? Because you might not want to listen to all this rubbish. <laughs> Let me have some more juice. So I'm drinking that all right just now, so hopefully it stays for the day. Me not freaking out. Talking about it sometimes can make it worse, you know, with it being so psychosomatic. Anyway, so those are the two ch choking incidents I had with me. I've never seen Kev choke. We have choking incidents in our family. Like my my nan was always choking and it, that used to terrify me. And she used to say like, well, I can't eat nuts that make me choke. And my mum's the same, my birth mum. You know, since getting to know her, she has definitely got the same issue. And she, we've both been told we've got something called, I think it's called laryngospasm or laryngospasm, where, so there is a physical reason behind it, but also there's that psychological thing. Anyway. I saw this on, it was actually on Jersey Shore. <laughs> so on Jersey Shore, one of their children started choking and the girl ran and got this, the, the mum ran and got this, threw it on the child and that was him, sorted. Now, looking into this, it is a rescue device and it is best that you try everything else first, like the Heimlich manoeuvre, etc. And I've seen a way of trying the Heimlich manoeuvre on yourself where you're supposed to like throw yourself against a chair and do that. But I just... From the choking incidents I've had, um, and I, it actually sometimes happens in the night, I wake up choking, which I think is this laryngospasm that they told me about. I had like a tube up my nose and whatnot and he checked everything. I don't yeah. think you'd be of sound mind <laughs> to be able to administer a chair to yourself. I feel like it needs to be something really simple and that's what this is. I know that was a long old story. That's what it looks like. I'm not gonna show you exactly, but you put it over your face like that because you're supposed to like, it's supposed to be one use and you throw this away and then you would need to get another one. It should really just give you different masks. Um, you put it on and you, let me put this back on. 
you push in like that you, you need to make a seal and then you pull up and then you let go just like that and it pulls in you can actually feel it doing on there so it basically sucks out what is in there you get four masks actually one of them i think is a test mask it's supposed to be thrown away this one is a pediatric one this is like for a, a baby or infant this one small adult or child mask i've opened them just to have a look and i think this one is the test mask now um I've told Kev where this is and it's in the cupboard and now I know I just feel much better now it wasn't ex it wasn't inexpensive it was 94 pounds so not inexpensive at all I think that's really expensive I'm really lucky that I can afford that and it's one of those things that is probably of no use hopefully I will never need to use it but I felt like with all the, I was starting to have these swallowing problems again and struggling to swallow even small tablets. I thought maybe having that there will just give me peace of mind. I know that if something happens to Kev, sometimes Kev will choke on a bit of food or look like he's choking on a bit of food. And I'm like, literally, what is happening? The other thing I meant I didn't mention is it happened with Watson. I am wondering if the child won't wolf it over his nose and I'll be able to do it. We have had him choke twice. The first time we, we found the vet and he, he could get some breath in, but he had some, like we could literally see it in his throat. And we were asking, should we reach in and pull it out? Or, you know, what should we do? But he actually then swallowed it and seemed to be fine. And thankfully he was fine. Um, the second time though, he was thrashing all around the bedroom. I could actually see when he was thrashing that there was something stuck at the back of his throat. Um, Kev came in and I was telling Kev, you do the Heimlich. I'm gonna, cause there's a Heimlich you can do on the on a dog. I'm gonna phone the vet and get them on the phone and see if we can come, you know. Oh, it was an absolute nightmare. Anyway, <laughs> Kev managed to eventually get his hand down his throat because this is the thing, he was thrashing around and we couldn't get in to get the, the duck thing, but I knew he'd be better with Kev. Um, <laughs> and eventually we got it out and Watson was just looking at us like, what's the problem? <laughs> Why is everybody freaking out? Where's my treat gone, you know? And I was like, oh my God, you know, I've, I've rescued this dog from two lots of cancer. He's been attacked by a dog and had his side ripped like I am not letting him die in front of me from choking you know <laughs> but I was useless I was bloody useless I mean I was phoning the vet but I don't know whether that will work on a dog but I am I would try it I, I feel at least I have a tool I know I've spent too long talking about this and I apologize but um there you have it I will move on now <laughs> okay some housey stuff I got these display books and I showed these um on my recent tips for dieting video I put a little label on each one saying air fryer and I showed how I, I take recipes out of my magazines that I've got and out of um, books, sometimes cookbooks, if there's not too many that I like in the cookbook, I'll take them out and put them in here. Um, and these are really nice, really robust, really pretty. You can also get them in black. I've got three in black and then I've got these. I've got another another purple one, I think. Um, I've got, this one says savoury, that one's air fryer. I've got a slow cooker one, you know, I've got all different ones and these display books are from Amazon and I really like them, but a lot of people were asking after I did that video. This next thing I just think is so cool. It's a garlic press, but it's not just a, your usual garlic press. And I just found an extra thing in it this morning, which I, I now remember when I was buying it, but I forgot to show Kev. Cause Kev likes to use a garlic press. I will tend to use, I used to use my vegetable chopper, you know, the one that you slam down on the small bit and it, and it seems to be fine for garlic you know I thought it might end up like you could taste little bits of garlic lumps or something I've been using it in my chili but I, I have never had any issue and then I found a smaller vegetable chopper that I'm just going to show you and I've been using that for my garlic but this is really good if you like to crush your garlic and that's what Kev likes to do if it says crush it he will want to crush it so it is your usual kind of garlic crusher but here's the extra magic so, you know, when you crush it and it gets all kind of stuck on there and you tend to just get a knife off don't, and, and scrape it off, don't you? But this one has got it built in. So you just go like that and that will take all the garlic off. But I found this extra thing and I'm assuming it's just to sort of to clean it and sort of to get bits out. So get any remnants out. It's a little brush and it sort of fits on here. You can poke in the holes to get everything out. Actually, it doesn't fit that well, to be fair. Yeah, it definitely works, but I don't I don't know that I'm going to use that. I only found that this morning, like I said, and that sort of clips in there, which is interesting. I think it might be more useful for cleaning, um, but I just think that that bit there is just genius. So love that. But the other thing I was talking about there is this mini vegetable chopper. This is amazing. I don't know how this isn't more popular. There's only one that I can see being sold on Amazon. I hope it's still for sale. I really hope it's still for sale. 
Um, I don't think it was even a prime one, but it's just a mini vegetable chopper. Um, exactly the same as all the other choppers. You put what, whatever you want in and slam it down. I've used this, I used it for the garlic for my the last chili I did. And then I used it, I was making um, a sort of quinoa thing and I put in spring onion and, well, spring onion, I chopped something in it, I remember. I don't know what, what the other thing I did, but I, I really loved it. The only thing is, it's hard to clean because on the vegetable choppers, you know how you get that little sort of cleaning tool? You don't get that with this. And so in here, I've tried it in the dishwasher, which it does go in the dishwasher. I haven't put this in, just this. Um, and it's come out perfectly fine. I'm guessing. Ah. Do you know what? I've just found something extra. Look, you can take that out and that'll get everything off it. Oh, okay. I went to a lot of effort to get all the food. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, how funny. That's so me. That's so typical me. All right, well, you can ignore what I was going to say. What I was going to tell you was I used, you know, the corn on the cob things that you put either end to, to chew a corn on the cob. I used the metal bit of that to clean it all. Chilli, that's the other thing I did. it. Chilli and spring onion, chopped it in this and just left it sitting in the fridge until I was ready to use it and mixed it in with my quinoa and bulgur wheat mix thing. I'm so pleased I found that. That's really, really good. That will make things so much easier, but I absolutely love this. Perfect. Okay, next, I want to show you this, which is, this is a sleep mask, but it's also earphones. So where are the earphones? Oh, they're here. But this is the comfiest sleeping earphone type device I've ever found. I have had a couple of these um, and they've just been not very nice to sleep on, you know, and I want to use this at night when I'm listening to... I don't know, podcast, audible, whatever, um, and kept sleeping. And so this is what you do. It's an eye mask, but the earphones are here and it's so comfy that I don't know if it's because they're a little bit higher. I sometimes start off with it like this. You know, if you don't want the, the actual eye mask on, you can just, just use it like this. And then the controls are here. It's just so easy and it's so comfortable. So, so comfortable. So if you're looking for something like that, you know, where you don't want to disturb other people with what you're listening to, it's great. And I was thinking I might use it like in the car in general I don't want to play music and sometimes Kev would like to listen to his sport radio I think and I could listen to a book or music if my head was okay. I've got one phone thing that I bought well I suppose you could say I bought all of these three from Amazon separately so I got this iPhone cover and then I got this little bow and then I got this that just attaches on like so. Um, so I, I don't I'm not fussy about a cover because I'm normally you know a, a designer one because I'm normally going to stick this on the back of it um, and I couldn't actually see any that I thought were amazing but a lot of the times the design is in the middle I always want to put these bows on the back because they're just perfect for holding on and taking photos I found that the best way to do it um, and I've used these for a couple of years now I just I changed my case a lot um, the other I had to change the case because I was using the long lanyard and in winter I tend to not be it's I've got such a big coat you know it's a nightmare to try and get over the top so um, I bought this as well because it means that I can ask Watson to bring me my phone and find my phone, but also it means that you can kind of walk along with your phone hanging on you. And when you're trying to take doggy photos, you need to have your camera like instantly accessed. And like, as you know, I did have it across me, but it means I can quickly grab a hold of it. I've got my, my thumb hold or finger hold there that I can take photos with. So I love that. But like I said, I've been using these a lot and I've used this before as well. I really like that design, but it's easy for Watson to pick up and easy for me to hold. The final item is so luxurious, but so inexpensive that I wanted to show you this throw because I, I, I watched a video where somebody bought, oh, I've just realised I've not put the microphone in. I hope everything sounds okay. I don't know why I always forget to do that. Um, yeah, I watched a video where somebody had bought some things from Timu. I, I think one of them was a throw and it was really, really thin. And then my friend bought one, I can't remember where from, some, was it B&M or Home Stores or something like that? And um, she she said to me, don't bother. She sent me a message, don't bother buying it. It's like kitchen roll or something like that, really, really thin. And I have bought some really nice throws from Amazon. And um, this I bought because I had bought the green one and thought it was lovely and thick. And so I thought I'm going to buy a cream one because I'm really into cream at the moment. I'm trying to have everything like soft furnishings, a kind of creamy beige colour in the living room. And I bought this double-sided... Um, throw and I just think it's so lovely I think this side looks really really luxurious you know it's just oh it's so nice 
and then you can have it either way you know you could have it on just the sort of normal fleecy side and i have washed and tumble dried this and it's come out absolutely fine and you can get it in different sizes like i said i've actually got the green one as well which is i think i think they're all called a sherpa throw but this one isn't quite as thick as the green one but it's still thick enough for a throw if you know what i mean it's not super super thick like I said, it's not as thick as the green one for some reason but it's just lovely it's not a silly small size it's you know i've got got one in the substantial size and it's nice and it washes well great love that that's everything for today i am constantly buying from amazon so it won't be long before i'll be able to do another one of these um let me know what your favorite amazon purchases have been lately and i will tell you what i've got on makeup wise i've got on the urban decay face bond foundation in number five um, on my eyes is, oh, it's also Urban Decay, it's the Urban Decay Half Baked, a little mini palette, love it. Um, the blush looks a bit bright today, doesn't it? I think I've maybe overdone it a bit. It is the Illamasqua blush in Lover. And then on my lips is the Milani liquid lipstick in, I think it's just called 130, it doesn't have a name. Um, and that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.